Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Becca from At Home in the Sun. And today we're gonna to be adding some new categories to some of our binders. So I was talking in my last video about how we were kinda of gonna do a budget tweak. So I did sit down with my husband and we talked about our savings goals and things like that. So what came out of that is that we do want to add some new envelopes, take a few ones out, tweak things a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what new categories that we're gonna be adding today. So we're gonna start with this binder. How are you guys doing? It is such a gorgeous day here in South Florida. The weather has been absolutely fantastic. Um, it's been so breezy. The temperature has been absolutely perfect. I don't wanna make you guys jealous, but it's been so beautiful here. And um, like we're gonna go through my self care binder in a little bit. And like speaking of self care, I've been spending more time outside. We have a hammock under our oak tree. Like spending time laying in that hammock has been so uh, cathartic and just peaceful. And it's been so wonderful. And so I'm like, you know, making myself stop doing work in the house and go outside and lay in that hammock for a little bit and just enjoy this beautiful weather um, that we're having. So I hope you guys are doing good and getting your self care in as well. All right, so we're gonna be adding these two categories to this binder. So let me go back here because we're gonna take, let's see, are we taking things out? I'm trying to remember. Um, all right, so what we talked about was tweaking kind of like the healthcare stuff. So right now we have an envelope for supplements and we have an envelope for health. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, keep supplements and we're going to take out health and we're actually gonna change health to copays. So any kind of copay, whether it's at the pharmacy or a doctor's visit. So this is um, more specific. So. I felt like health was too broad and I wanted to be more specific with my category. So this is specifically gonna be for copays. So we have supplements, copays, and we're adding another health related one, which is this one, which is vision. So this one is going to go towards contact lenses. I wear contacts um, or glasses. And my husband and I both wear contacts and glasses. So saving up for a new pair of glasses, you know, every five years or whatever, and also contact lenses. I wear daily contacts, so um, I can stretch mine pretty far because I don't wear them every day. I wear my glasses a lot of times, um, but saving up for contacts and glasses, I thought that was a really good category for us to add. So we're gonna be adding that one in. And also our beauty envelope, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. This one is getting tweaked quite a bit, so I am taking it out of my high priority binder. All right, so those are the tweaks we're making in this one. This is my high priority binder. So we're keeping supplements. Now we have co-pays and we have vision. All right, so those are the tweaks for that binder. So let's go ahead and go to my self-care binder and I'll talk about what tweaks we are making for this beauty category here that I just took out. So we are keeping beauty, however, I'm taking it out of high priority and I'm going to be splitting it into some different categories. And I thought a good place for it would be my self-care binder. Since I don't have a lot of envelopes in here, I have been itching to add some more. And I was like, well, let me add my beauty categories in here. That would be perfect. So right now in self-care, we have you and me, massage and spa day that we have started saving for. So we're gonna add some more in here. All right, so let's look at our categories for this one. All right, so beauty is getting split into makeup, skincare, and hair care. And then I'm also adding a fashion category as well. So we're adding four envelopes to um, a self-care, which I'm really excited about. Um, I was trying to rag my brain, trying to figure out what more categories can I add to this. Um, like I've mentioned before, a lot of my self-care stuff is, I don't need money for, you know? Like I was talking about going outside, spending a lot of time in nature, um, just like forcing myself to stop and slow down. Like that is self-care for me. Um, things like that, letting myself take a nice relaxing bath and 
um, just a little time on my own to decompress and meditate and pray and things like that. That's all self-care to me. Those are all things that are really important and they don't require money. All right, so let's look at our new categories. So we still have you and me, massage and spa day, and then our new ones, makeup, skincare, hair care and fashion. And we will hopefully be able to stuff those and in, um, in some of the upcoming cash stuffings. All right, so let's move on to this binder. Okay, so one thing that my husband said is we need to start putting some money away for a future car. Now our cars are fine right now. Um, they're both paid off, so we don't have any car payments. Um, but just setting aside some money, whether it's for a down payment or to pull, you know, um, pay off a car in full at some point in the future, that would obviously be what I would prefer. Um, to not have any more car payments. So I thought that was a really great idea. So we're going to add an envelope. This is future car. And then we are also gonna be adding a home reno envelope. Um, we have really been needing to do some work in um, our bathrooms for several years now and we just haven't really had the money to do that. We've been focusing on other things like paying off other debts and stuff but it's gotten to the point where it really has to be done within like the next year. So we're gonna start a home reno envelope to be able to do um, those bathroom things. And also our refrigerator is um, kind of on its last leg. Um, the freezer part completely stopped working. And if I tell you what brand it is, you're gonna know why it is a Samsung and Samsung is absolutely horrible when it comes to appliances and we figured that out really, really soon after we bought it um, several years ago. We've had it for quite a while. Um, it's had a lot of problems. Um, and so yeah, it's kind of on its last leg now. And so we're gonna need to save up for another refrigerator. So we're gonna start this envelope, start stuffing this. We're planning for maybe about $2,500 for a new fridge. Hopefully we can get one cheaper, but I wanna kind of save, see if we can um, get it to last like one more year. So the plan for this one is to save for a year for a new fridge. And hopefully by this time next year, we'll have that 2,500 so we can go buy um, a new refrigerator. Hopefully it'll last that long. So those are the three envelopes I'm gonna be adding to this binder, which is also a high priority binder. So future car, home reno and fridge. So let's see where I wanna put these. Piano, home care, car care. Okay, so let's put the home reno next to the other home one. So put it right here. So then we have the home envelopes next to each other. So we have home care, which is like home maintenance. And then we have home reno right next to each other. All right, so then fridge and future car. Let's do fridge also next to the home stuff because that is a home related thing. So let's put this one here. Okay, and then future car is gonna go next to the car one. So we have car care, which is car maintenance car tags and then let's put future car right here next to the other ones okay and those are the three that we're adding to this one so car care car tags and future car perfect and we still have a few more this one is getting thick this binder i've got a lot of stuff in here I was hoping it would be able to fit these three extra envelopes. I think we're gonna be okay. But yeah, there's quite a bit in here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it still fits. We still got some wiggle room in there. All right, and lastly, we're gonna be adding a few things to this binder, tweaking this one a little bit. So right now we have travel, Thanksgiving gifts and special events in this one. We also have fun, but we never, um, we never stuff that one. So, Here's what we're gonna do with this one. Let me go back here to special events. We're gonna be tweaking special events. So we're gonna be taking it out and we're going to be splitting it into birthdays, Mother's Day and Father's Day. So this was kind of like a catch-all envelope before this special events one, but I wanted to be more specific with it and it felt like we never were able to save money for Mother's Day and Father's Day. Like it would be coming up and I was like, oh, I don't have any money to, you know, buy something for my mom or my mother-in-law or, or um, 
for my dad or whatever or my husband for Father's Day and we need to be saving for things like that because that is something that is important. So let me put these three in. Okay, so let's add birthdays first. And I felt kind of bad. I was like, it's already April. Like Mother's Day is next month, next month. So when we cash stuff, we're gonna have to stuff quite a bit into Mother's Day to get to where we need to be for that. Um, Cause it basically, this money is gonna go towards um, gift for my mother, my mother-in-law, and also whatever my husband does for me. Um, usually what we do is we make each other a gourmet breakfast on Mother's Day and I make him a, a gourmet breakfast on Father's Day. Also on our birthdays, we do that for each other. Um, so, you know, we have to spend, I don't know how much, maybe 80 bucks or maybe 100 bucks for that gourmet breakfast and, um, and you know, a nice dinner for each other. We, we like to cook for each other, so. Um, so yeah, I have to consider all of those things. Okay, so we do have some money in here. So let's see how much is in here. I don't think there's very much. And we'll like distribute this. Okay, so we have $160. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we don't have any birthdays for our kids. Oh, I forgot to mention, this birthday envelope is only going to be for our immediate family for our immediate family's birthdays. Um, I have another envelope for gifts. So for other people outside of our immediate family, that's where their gifts will come from. This is only gonna be for like me and my husband and our three kids. So we don't have any birthdays coming up for a few months. So what I wanna do, I wanna put the most into Mother's Day. So let's go ahead and put this 100 into Mother's Day since that is next month. And then Father's Day, let's do the 50 in Father's Day. And then we'll put the 10 in, um, in birthdays and we will work on building up birthdays. But I still have more time to save before uh, one of our kids has another birthday. Okay, perfect. All right, so those are the new envelopes that we added in today. It was really fun to sit down and tweak our budget a little bit. Um, after we sat down and kind of finalized everything, like two more things popped up in my mind that I wanted to add categories for, but um, they are not time sensitive necessarily, so we can wait a little bit before we do that. So maybe the next time we sit down and tweak our budget, I will add those in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.